chilly morning here in Atlanta and I'm here in front of my filthy 2022 Maverick. Uh, I downloaded this car scanner app and I'm just trying to see what kind of information uh, I can pull from the OBD2 port. So I bought this little $20 V-Pack dongle that connects uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, just plug it into the OBD2 port and supposed to just be able to pull a bunch of information i have no idea if it's even gonna work let's find out all right so it just says start your truck which i'm doing right here and then uh we'll just plug into that obd2 port and uh see what comes up i'll show you where it is in case you don't know all right so your port is up under there right there and that's where you're gonna plug in this little doodad and uh, we'll see what we get. All right, well, it didn't go on there all that easy, but it's on there and you can see there's a little blue light on there. I assume it's getting power and it's active on the V peak adapter here. So next step, let's see what info that uh, it's able to pull from the system. All right, well, pulled a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but uh, I'll put it up on the screen and talk you through it and you'll see what you can get off of one of these little cheapo adapters. Let's find out. Okay, so this is one of the screens the V-Pack gives you. It was actually around 30 bucks, although it had a 10% off coupon on Amazon. You get a screen that you can watch live here with eight different parameters. Here are the first four, instant fuel rate, your average fuel consumption, instantaneous fuel consumption, and your speed. Uh, I do about 27, 28 miles per gallon, but on this little teeny loop, first thing in the morning, it's telling me around 25, and uh, that doesn't sound uh, too far off from what I usually see. All right, like I said, so you get eight uh, little parameters you can watch on the screen here. This was the first four, and now let's take a look at the second four. Okay, so the bottom of the same screen shows you the average speed you're traveling, your engine RPM, how far you've gone. I did a little two and a half mile loop this morning, and how many gallons of fuel you have used. This would be fun to just drive around and have this up on your phone. I don't know, it might be a little distracting, but it is cool to see all this instantaneous information and then next up i just ran through a bunch of the uh fault codes and i didn't expect to find much but uh it runs through dozens and dozens of these things it's amazing how much information we have on modern cars and you kind of wonder how you ever did anything without having all this at your fingertips i guess you needed a bunch of different machines to do the same thing that this little $30 adapter can tell me now on my phone. Anyway, as I suspected, uh, right here it tells me no diagnostic trouble codes found. Not surprised. And finally, there is just a long, exhaustive list here of so much data here. Uh, coolant temperatures, engine RPM, timing advance, your intake temperature, oxygen sensor readings. I mean, it just goes on. And on and on, you can see uh, so much information it's pulling here. And again, for a $30 adapter, I don't know how accurate it is, but I guess it's just reading what the car tells it. So uh, as long as the car has the right information, I'm guessing that's what it's giving you. Uh, throttle position, fuel type, uh, you know, oxygen sensor uh, readings. Uh, engine reference torque, 278 foot-pounds of torque. That's pretty good. I think that's about what the car is rated at. I don't know if that's just a number it spits out or it's actually measuring something, but uh, I'll take that for sure. Um, vehicle fuel rate, exhaust flow rate. My odometer reading at about 26,000 miles now. Here's your average fuel consumption. It even knows what time it is. Um, how far did I travel? So some of that info we saw on that other screen. Huh, free space in the fuel tank, 22 gallons. Is that correct? I didn't think the tank was that big. 
All right, and you can see, I mean, you just scroll through so much stuff here. Uh, some of it takes a second to register, transmission fluid temperature. Of course, I don't know what it should, you know, be as far as uh, what the normal reading is for it. But, uh, hey, it looks good to me. It's cool to see all this stuff anyway. Uh, exhaust gas temperature. Uh, some of these readings didn't pick up, and some of them took a second to do that. Um, battery temperature, battery, uh, SOC, yeah, I don't even, state of charge, oh, how about that? Okay, and, uh, tire pressure readings, and, uh, there you go, so that's all the cool info you can get from your V-Pack adapter and the car scanner app.